Hey everybody, day two of this journey, man. It's getting realer and realer by the day. Sorry, I couldn't um, video last night. I was rapping with my brother about the situation. It was pretty emotional. I mean, I should have got it on film, but you know, it was time for us to talk and you know, and go over the situation. And, you know, and come out with the best outcome and how we gonna um, go on from here. You know, as far as giving him insight and knowledge and keeping him in his frame of mind of, I get a release date, I get a release date, but do I want to come out and be stupid on my release date or do I want to come out with some type of intelligence and knowledge of what's going on in the community so I don't come out blindfolded? You dig what I'm saying? So... I mean, it was just a lot. We were just brainstorming and going over stuff and situations that we went through and how, um, you know, your life could affect other people's lives, man. And it's real. It's real, man. And um, I wish this on nobody, no enemy. I wish this on nobody. Cause that, cause, cause uh, kids are our future. And if they killing off our black kids at this age, where, are we, where are we gonna be? Where are we gonna be at in the future if we don't straighten this shit up? Where all these kids right now they letting all these kids come out rapping about fucking drinking lean and popping pills and, and 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 doing all this crazy shit, man. It's the same cycle they fed us. It's the same cycle they fed us, man. And you see how we turned out. Shit's not a fucking game, man. But I want y'all to kick back and ride with me on this, man. And when this is done, man, I want y'all to please. I never asked no one to do this. I never asked anybody. Please share this fucking video, man. Please. I don't care if you don't subscribe, if you don't fucking hit a like. I don't care, man. Just please let somebody else feel this so they can know what to do. And know how to avoid their situation before it costs them their kid. And they, um, sanity of what happened to their kid. So y'all just ride with me, man. We're going to keep it rolling. All right. I'm out. Okay, my people. We still riding. We still riding on this journey, man, that y'all going to walk with me on. We still out here, man. Time is, is, is dwindling. The time is dwindling. You know, you, you, you try and prepare yourself for something like this. You know, when you try to get everything in order of what you what you want to say how you want to present yourself you know get your emotions try and keep your emotions in check and when it comes down time to play shit gets real you know all that shit that you practice goes out the window you know it's like me, I ain't never been the type of person that'll write on a piece of paper, you know, write out what I'm going to say and do. I'm the type of person that just go off the cuff, you know. I just go off of what I feel at that moment, you know. I don't, I don't write down shit. I don't, you know, because it's all about coming out genuinely, you know. It's not about writing and like you studying a, um, like you studying a script. You know, you know. I know it works for some people, and it's not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all, because it's still they they truth for how they feel. You know, but it's just with me. I just I just don't I just don't do that. I just I just go off of the cuff. You know, I like what they like freestyling it. I guess you could say freestyling it. So yeah, that's what I do. I just freestyle it. And uh, it's a tough one though, man. This was it's a tough one right here. So I don't know how it's gonna work out. You know, like I was saying, I don't know how it's gonna work out. I'm just praying for whatever outcome God presents us, man. And I and I want to um, be able to apologize to the family that this situation happened to because they dealing with something as well. You know, it's not just one-sided here, and it's not just um, a biased side to where I'm on his side to fool, because it's a family out there that lost their families, and that's been in a situation 
that they got to deal with now because of the mistakes that he made and his friends made, well, his, his fake friends made. So this is a situation that's like a, a double-edged sword. You know, it's two-sided, you know, because they're going to be in there, you know, wanting the worst because uh, they have the all, the all the right to. They have every right to want the worst. I mean, they have um, a family member that's been lost in this and a family member that's been almost, almost killed in this situation. So it's not just protecting him and shadowing him from the situation because he know he has to deal with the situation. Whatever outcome it is, he got to deal with it. And he has to deal with it and, um, you know, prepare for whatever comes with it, you know. But um, I'm going to be there for him and ride it out with him the whole time, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's just that's just what I have to do, and that's just going to come natural. Because uh, I'll be damned if he gets out blindfolded and not knowing what the fuck going on. Because when that shit happens like that, that's when you get these repeat offenders coming back. So that's not going to happen. But as far as the family, I want to... Um, apologize to them you know and let them know that it was a mistake and don't paint him out to be a monster because he's not he followed some people